in column one set of organic compounds are given and in column two we need to check out each and every organic compound is satisfying how many points let's see one by one this is the first compound given so here in the options one is presence of tertiary carbon atom then talking about hybridization then geometrical isomerism then presence of two pi bonds now when we extend this and write it is like this ch3 ch2 ch2 ch ch3 then comes c triple bond ch so we know that a tertiary carbon means the one which is attached to three more carbons isn't it so definitely this particular carbon is called as a tertiary carbon because it is attached to these three carbons so definitely this is there in the matching part then let us see the hybridization we know that whenever a carbon atom is forming four separate single bonds it is said to be sp3 hybridized and whenever a carbon is forming one double bond and two single bonds then that is said to be sp2 hybridized and whenever a carbon is forming one triple bond and one single bond or the same carbon is forming two double bonds then it is said to be sp hybridized so as these two are the triple bonded carbon definitely these two are sp hybridized carbon so this is also there in the matching part then in order to exhibit geometrical isomerism there should be at least one double bond in which the double bonded carbon atom need to attach to two different atoms or two different groups so no chance of any geometrical isomerism then presence of two pi bonds we know that whenever more than one bond is formed between any two atoms definitely the first bond is a sigma bond and the remaining are the pi bonds so that is the reason why here there are two pi bonds so for this a the correct match is p q as well as s let's move to the second structure let me extend this and write this is ch triple bond c then comes ch2 then comes ch ch3 then ch3 now again in this particular structure this particular carbon atom is the tertiary carbon because it is attached to three other carbons so definitely this is our one of the matching here we can see triple bond here so definitely both these carbon atoms are sp hybridized so this is also there in the matching part as there is no double bond no need to think about geometrical isomerism and of course as triple bond is present out of these three bonds one is sigma bond the remaining two are pi bonds so two pi bonds are there so p q as well as s are the correct match for this structure b the next one this is the structure ch3 ch double bond ch ch double bond ch ch3 so as there is no branching at all no chance of tertiary carbon atom as there is no triple bond or the same carbon is not forming two double bonds then definitely it is not undergoing sp hybridization then as there is a double bond and this double bonded carbon is attached to two different groups means one is hydrogen and one is the methyl group so definitely this exhibits geometrical isomerism and as two double bonds are there in each of the case one pi bond exists so definitely two pi bonds are also present so the correct match are both r and s in the last structure when we extend this it looks like this ch2 double bond ch ch2 ch2 ch double bond ch2 again here as there is no branching no chance of tertiary carbon and there is no triple bond or the same carbon is not forming two double bonds no chance of sp hybridization then regarding the geometrical isomerism this compound does not exhibit geometrical isomerism because the compulsory condition is the double bonded carbon atom need to attach to two different atoms or two different groups in this case both are hydrogens again in this case both are hydrogens so both of the double bonds are not responsible for exhibiting geometrical isomerism as two double bonds are there definitely two pi bonds are there so finally the correct matching is like this for a it is p q and s for b it is again p q and s for c it is r and s 
for d it is only s 